Hi you guys, it's Froggy again. I know, I was just here. Um, a friend of mine just asked me how I make my watermarks, and so I was going to just kind of throw this video up in tandem with the other one that I just did on custom brushes, so that you can also have fabulous watermarks. So if I actually open up my little materials thing here, you can see I've got quite a few of them, um, and it's really easy to make them, so that's why I have so many. If it was hard, I wouldn't bother. Let me go ahead and make all these invisible. These are all my watermarks. And as you can see, I have just this fancy little crown thing sitting. And it's, it doesn't have to be perfect for this because, of course, it's small. Um, so it's just sitting on a black background for the contrast. The background doesn't matter. Uh, once again, I'm going to select it just so that I only have the necessary material, information, whatever. I'm going to go to Edit. I'm going to go to Register Image as Material. I'm going to name it Crown 2016. Now this is what I use as my signature, so I'm going to make it so that when you paste it, as you can see right here, it says Paste Operation, it, you scale it up and down. Um, as you can see, it has its own little options here. Sorry, I've never actually read those before. And I'm going to add it to Color materials. I like to just throw it under color materials as a general, but as you can see there are all kinds of other options that you can, and you can always add search tags and things like that, but once again, as I said previously, I don't bother to because I know what I'm looking for. And I'm just going to press OK. Now I'm going to delete this layer because I can, and deselect, and pull that out, and as you can see it comes out with a nice little resize box. And I can make it really small so that it serves as my signature. And just press enter. Oh yeah, I forgot it doesn't do that. Um, normally when you resize something and it's a rasterized layer, you press enter and it commits it to the actual pixels on the screen so that it's no longer openly editable. Um, but I went ahead and rasterized it. So that's what I would normally do. I would rasterize it and then lock the layer into place. But whatever you want to do, it's up to you. But that's just real quick how I make my signature watermark. And for other watermarks, such as like my Patreon watermark, I should get better at organizing. My Patreon watermark, as you can see, when I put it down, it's already committed to that size. I can press Control T, scale it down, press Enter. Sorry, that was my dryer. Um, and turn the opacity up down, whatever I need to do. So, there you go. That's how I create my watermarks.